Green Drury. That's right, you get two points there as well. And from which LP was that single taken? Sweet Surrender. No, it was from Better to Travel, but you got four points there. So, Eugene, what does all that do to the scores, please? Torquay have 41, Montague have 33 points. Well, we've got more pop for you now, only this time I see how good our teams are at recognising bits of the faces of those famous pop personalities. Torquay Grammar, your face is coming up first. Can you, for four points, pick a colour? Have white, please. For you, anything's <laughs> Annie Lennox. Let's take a look. And you score four points there. Well done. Montague, your face is waiting there, ready to be recognised. Can you pick your first colour for four points, please, Alison? White, please. And you're going for white first, too. Jim Kerr. Let's take a look. And you score maximum points. Well done. And we go back to the skateboard park now with more Atari 720. This is the more tricky version of the game where there are all kinds of water hazards. So let's see how Alex and Matthew do at this one. Alex, it's your go first. He's off. in there, soaking wet but out again. He's down and round. Ooh. Matthew, let's see how you do at this one. <laughs> and he's over the first one. Come on, Matthew. He's looking quite fast. Ooh, but he's wet again. A few good kicks off. Ooh, that was a big jump. <laughs> and he's over the line. Well, I'm afraid, Alex, you failed to qualify in that one, as you saw. Uh, but Matthew managed to skate downhill in 24 seconds. That's smashing. So it's two points to Montague. And um, before the final round, we'll take a look at the scores, please, Eugene. Torquay have 45, Montague have 39. <laughs> Just six points in it as we go into our final general knowledge round. It's uh, first on the buzzers, no conferring, and two points for a correct answer. Under what name did the outlaw William Bonney become famous? <coughs> Talkie Sorica. Wild Bill Hickok. No, Montague, can you take it? <laughs> Andrew. Billy the Kid. That's right, two points. Which sea surrounds the Isle of Man? <coughs> Montague, Andrew. Irish Sea. Right, for two points again. On your screen now. What breed of dog is this? Montague, Andrew. Rottweiler. That's absolutely right. You're running away with this round. Which television drama series has the theme song Always There? <coughs> Talky Grammar, Alex. Howard Sway. That's right. Well done. Now some music. Listen to this. You're Name the song. Montague Allison. What do you want to make those eyes at me for? I always look like... Oh, yeah, correct for two points. <laughs> Which science is mainly used by forecasters when they prepare... Talky Grammar Alex. Meteorology. That's right, used by weather forecasters when they prepare the weather bulletins. You might have thought it was guesswork, but it's not. How many O's are there in meteorology? <coughs> Talky Alex. Three. Ooh, yes, for two points. On your screen... Napoleon was first exiled on this island. Name it. Talky Grammar Sorica. Elba. That's right, for two points. Which mouse is 60 years old this year? Talky Alex. Mickey Mouse. That's right, for two points. Now some more music and listen to this. Some guys Name the 
singer. Talkie Amanda. Maxi Priest. That's right, with some guys have all the luck. How many signs are there in the zodiac? Montague Allison. Twelve. For two points. What number are you left with if you take seven times eight from eight times nine? Talkie Alex. Sixteen. Very fast, well done. Before Christmas every year, how many Sundays are there during the Christian season of Advent? Montague Matthew. Four. That's right, you've been watching Blue Peter and those coat hangers. How did Sherry get its name? Montague School Allison. From the town in Spain. Hello. That's absolutely right. Yes, it got its name from the town of Jerez. You can criticise my Spanish if you like. That's two points there. Well done. In a theme song from his cartoon show, which colourful character is the one and only truly original? Talkie Grammar Alex. Pink Panther. That's right. What would you do with a marimba? Would you play it? Talkie Grammar Sorica. Play it. You would play it because it's a musical instrument. It's a bit like the xylophone. Which large type of monkey is sometimes called the dog-faced monkey? And don't say Debbie Greenwood. Montague School, Andrew. Proboscis monkey. No, Talkie. Sorica? Baboon. That's right for two points. What kind of novel would you expect if it was written by Barbara Cartland? Talkie Sorica. Romantic. That's right, it would be a romantic story. Which record did Ben Johnson break when he became the fastest man in the world in 1987? Montague School, Andrew. 100 metres. That's right, he did. He broke that at the World Athletics Championships. What is the name of the parade that is held each year in London to celebrate the Queen's official birthday? Torquay Grammar Sorica. Trooping the colour. That's right. In the 1980s, which British pop singer had hits with Kids in America, Cam Torquay Amanda? Kim Wilde. That's right. The other two were Cambodia and Checkered Love. And that brings us to the end of that round and the end of tonight's heat. Eugene, the final scores, please. Torquay have 71 and Montague have 55. <laughs> School. I'm sorry, I have to have to lose you at this point at the end of the, the second round. There, did you enjoy playing? Yeah. yeah. But what opposition? 71 points. I can't remember a score as high as that. Well done, girls. I'm not sure whether your mascot Nasha no. wasn't giving you a bit of uh, a bit of encouragement there. <laughs> but bring him back when you come back for the quarter final. Well, that brings us to the end of tonight's show. I hope you've enjoyed it. But do join me next week when two more teams will be trying to prove that they're first class. <laughs>